We've got about 20, 25 tickets, and I think they've all gone. Good afternoon to you all, or good morning, wherever in the world you are. Lovely to see you. Thanks for joining us. I'll be starting in about a minute. I'm just checking my numbers. I've been out and about all day. It's been a busy old Thursday in the UK, so I'm just checking my numbers. See how many people we've got joining us, and I will be with you. So I hope you guys are okay. Hope you got a drink. I hope you can see me okay. And I recommend, if you haven't, is grab yourself a notebook and pen, because I'm going to be covering quite a lot of information. We like it. We like that. We like that. Because I've got a lot of information to cover in a very short period of time. And I'm not here to overwhelm you, but I'm here to show you how important these changes are going to be. Because there's quite a lot. Denise, where in the world are you? Christine, nice to see you. Where are you, Christine? Ah, Maryland, USA. Thanks. So, Christine, where are you? No, oh, you're afraid. I don't think my technology works well. I've even had my beard trimmed for this session, Ruth. I hope you appreciate it. You know, look, seriously. Seriously. Grooming session this morning. Oh, Maryland, USA. I've never been to Maryland, but it sounds like a great place. Oh, Christine. Christine, where are you? Oh, you're frozen again. I'll tell you what, it was all going so well. Um, well, thank you for joining me all. I just had a quick look, and I only really, 20, I quite like intimate small events these days. And I only really, ah, Christine, you're back. I only released 20 tickets for the event, and 19 have gone. So I'm hoping we get the last person takes one while we're on here. But I am recording. Let me share my. It's like short and sweet, but also very interactive. I want you to get as much out of this session as you possibly can. It's not costing you any money. I understand that, but your time is more important than the money side of it. So I don't want to waste your time. And my my aim is this will be about 30 minutes or so. We've got time for a bit of a QA at the end. So if you've got any questions, just hit me with it. I I am on my own. So all very solo i'm watching the chat i'm letting people in and I'm on this as well but you know what i can multitask whatever they say about men not being able to multitask trust me i can do it so who here uses messenger right now as a strategy to get new clients if that is you drop a me in the chat please drop a me in the chat if you're currently using messenger to attract new clients to your coaching business and let's see what sort of people we've got on with me today. And I will give you a couple of minutes just to talk. Uh, I'll give you a quick overview of who I am, and then we'll just start going into it. Okay, Ruth, yes, I understand that. Denise, uh, I use Facebook groups and talk to people. Okay, cool. Facebook groups, communities. I don't tend to call them groups. I call them communities. So when I'm referencing communities, you know, we're on the same page. Facebook groups are amazing. If anyone tells you Facebook groups don't work in 2024, they are absolutely off their head and don't understand how to make it work. So you use using DM, which is absolutely fine. So next question for you all, as I always like a bit of audience participation to make you work, so it's not just me sat here doing all the work. Um, so who is really happy with their strategy and happy with the results that you're getting from your DMs? If, that's, if you're really, really happy, type a one in the chat, please. Just give me a number one. I'll make it nice and easy. Cool. Ruth, you're liking it. It's working for you. And you're getting some cracking results. Oh, now, Denise. Okay. Denise, I have to explain what a two means. I haven't said two. Does two mean that you're not very happy with how it's working? Hi. It's just that um, I'm getting some results, but I feel like I have to use up a lot of time to get the okay. results. Okay. Yeah, I understand that. It can be mega time consuming. Okay, that's that's really interesting. Thank you for sharing that. I really appreciate that. Um, and then my final question is, 
for now, who is finding it harder and harder to communicate with new ideal clients using Messenger? If that's you, drop a two into the chat. So if you're finding it, your experience is getting harder and harder or it's taking up more and more time, like we've just had then, it's harder to communicate then. Yeah, okay. Okay, Christine, the same. Okay, interesting. It's interesting. We've done a lot of research. Basically, rest assured, it's noisy. Is that me being noisy, Viv, or we're talking about Messenger? It's, um, you are rest assured you are in the right place because this is exactly what I am going to be covering over the next 28 minutes or so. Now, I hope we are all covered. Uh, we're all covered. We're all connected as friends on Facebook. If we're not, there is me. Please jump on. Drop me a, f you can hear me fine. Okay, cool. Messenger. Viv, I thought that's where you were going. Messenger can be ridiculously noisy. Viv, you're going to love this session. Because in the next 28 minutes, I'll show you how Messenger is going to be so quiet for you and so clear. It's going to work like a dream. So you you are like me. We're very similar. And you're going to love these changes that are coming through for Meta and for Facebook and all that kind of stuff. That's fine. Okay, you're on your own because the internet is out. I, I feel your pain. No problem at all. It's like, it's like we live in the third world from the UK to the USA. You would expect our internet to be amazing. But honestly, I get better internet connectivity when I'm in Thailand. But hey-ho. Let's go. So if we're not connected, I'll put the link in the chat. By all means, drop me a friend connection, and I would love to be connected with you. There are so many coaches out there using DMs as their main strategy for growing their business. Some do it really, really well, and some do it really bad. And I'm not going to cover – I don't do the negative stuff. We're going to cover a little bit just to show you. There are, there, there are also then the BS marketers, as I like to call them, or the bullshit the marketers. It depends what we're in, but the BS marketers – the lead gen experts, I say experts in inverted commas because they're never experts. And then there's the general people who are just doing it so badly and they're cold messaging, they're sending. And literally, they are the bane of most coaches' lives. You get so many distractions and so much BS coming through on a daily basis, which Viv, as you've identified as being noisy, absolutely 100%. You know, how many times a day do you see the same message copy and pasted into the DMs? Well, all I say to you is everything of the past and pretty damn quickly. It's going to be the, the spammers, the cold DMers, they are all going to be dead in the water really, really quickly. And I think you'll see these changes happening really quickly. So I've said already, there's a lot of changes coming from Meta. So Meta obviously being the parent company of Facebook, Instagram, uh, WhatsApp, Messenger, all these things. And I have to say, in my humble opinion, I like these changes. These changes are good. But they also mean it's going to change the balance of power. The power is in the consumer's hand now, how they want to use these platforms. And it, what it means to us as professionals in this space is that we're going to have to treat Messenger a little bit differently than we ever have before. Now, I'm not a fan of cold DMs, as you can probably tell. Yes, I know not everyone agrees with me. Some people love doing cold DMs. That's absolutely fine. That's what you are. That's where you are. That's absolutely fine. Personally, I find them annoying. I find them distracting, and I just don't enjoy receiving them. And as my mother, our pat taught me as a young boy, was always teach treat people as you want to be treated yourself, and you won't go far wrong. That's why I just don't do cold messages, cold DMs, etc. But as I say, Meta are going to make Messenger a little bit harder for you. But the caveat, the but is the quality of the leads that you get through Messenger are going to be better than ever before, which is great news. So the leads that you're going to get through Messenger going forward are going to be better quality and better than you've ever got. As long as you know what you're doing, which I'll show you today. So I've talked about bringing a notebook and pen, so I'm going to be taking uh, talking lots. I don't want to be talking at you. I will make it as interactive as I can, but we've got quite a lot of information to cover. I am also recording it, and I will share with you the afterwards. You can come back and hit it time and time again. And I would imagine as Meta keeps getting updated, I'll keep dropping new updates of this as well. So the, the information I'm going to be covering today comes from hours and hours and hours of testing and retesting by us within 
business and also speaking with many marketing experts from around the world and also online coaches. And by sitting here for the next 30 minutes with me today, we'll put you ahead of the masses, we'll put you ahead of the people who are stuck in the past. And to be quite honest, I I can see a lot of businesses will close pretty damn quickly as they won't be able to cope and they're not aware of the changes that happen around them. So watch this space. Now, finally, before we jump into it, just one thing, if you are a person that hates change, a warning. I've spoken to already, I think this is the worst possible thing that could ever happen to them. These meta changes are the worst possible thing that could happen to them. And my view is, you're absolutely right. Or if you see this at the other side, you feel actually this is going to be a great opportunity. I'm going to be ahead of the game. Rich has already said that the leads I'm going to get are going to be better. This is going to be a really good thing. Again, you're absolutely right. So the way you look at this is going to mean everything to you. All I would say to you, and I find this really exciting, in fact, it makes me goosebumpy talking about it, there's a massive opportunity. There is a massive opportunity here for us to move forwards, move forwards together and to dominate this space, And which is what it's all about. So some of you know me, some of you know me really well, some of you've never met me before. Very, very quickly, who am I? This is me. I'm a dad to three. I've got three children. I say children, though most of them are bigger than me. I'm a husband to Kate. We got married back in December on a beautiful beach back in Thailand last year. And as you can see, we love to travel. This is a couple of years' examples with the UK, Dubai, Thailand. Uh, we, we, we're very, very lucky. I don't use the word blessed, but we're very lucky to have travelled a lot. And in fact, so far in 2024, we've been to Dubai, we've done Thailand, we've done the Scottish Highlands, the Isle of Skye, which I love. We've been to Wales, we've done Devon in the UK, we've done the UK up on the North Yorkshire coast, we've been to Berlin, Germany. We're going to Greece in about four weeks. We're going back to Thailand, hoping to Singapore by the end of the year as well. I've also been a coach for over 25 years. I know I don't look old enough for the beard. These, these great actually you know artificial i'll put them in myself and i've run my own coaching business now for over eight years and finally my signature coaching program is called mg momentum and it's all about helping online coaches gain predictable clients and scale past 20k months but don't worry there is a zero sales pitch at this session it's we've all been to those webinars but it's all about selling to you at the end and this is really not about that so what i'm going to be covering is what you can see the meta update what this means for you, how you can it, but also updated strategies, which are going to be sprinkling throughout the next 20 minutes or so, just to give you some little tip information and put you ahead of everyone else. So I also say so quite a lot. And I notice it when I'm doing these live things. Just bear with me. It's, it's one of my weaknesses. There's been a number of cases on Facebook this year already. So from Meta, we've had outages, we've had the encryption of DMs, we've you noticed this, these are things that have been happening around us all. And all I can say to you is that change is going to be a constant process with Meta. There were so many more changes on the way. Some we know about, some we don't. I'm sure you can all think back to early March when the majority of the globe got kicked out of Facebook for a few hours. Maybe you didn't notice it. Maybe you did notice it. Maybe you noticed it. You thought your world was ending. Um, I was on a beach in the northern Scottish Highlands, and one of my coaches texted me and said, oh, my God, Facebook's down. Ah! And I literally got back off for about four hours, and I hadn't even noticed it, and it came back on really, really quickly. So the things have been changing. It's Facebook, Messenger, all of these platforms are very changing platform, but I still believe that Facebook has the biggest amount of users on a daily basis weekly basis and a monthly basis and if you, all you need to do is to know what you're looking for and how to attract them and Facebook will work for you all day long and it's still the best platform for organic and paid marketing so audience participation time you right now are Mark Zuckerberg if you don't know Mark is the guy who invented Facebook all those years ago think about as Mark Zuckerberg sat in your beautiful ivory tower on those billions and billions of dollars and all the estate and everything else he owns, um, what would you want from Meta, especially Facebook and Meta? What kind of behavior do you want us all as users on Facebook to encourage us to do? So have a think about it. If you're Mark Zuckerberg right now, sum up in one word and drop that one word in the chat, what would you want to be doing on Facebook and Meta? What is that one word you can use? You are Mark Zuckerberg. What kind of behavior do 
you want from all of your users? How would you want them to behave? How would you want them to act on Facebook? And let's put it into one. This is where you get to play the role of Mark Zuckerberg for the next 30 seconds. Respect. I love that. Connect. Nice. Safer. Yeah, absolute engagement. Yeah, absolutely. Very positive. You've all used very, very positive words, and I have to say I agree with you all. So if you think about it, Facebook, how they want us to act. They want us to build relationships. Well done. Spot on. Viv, engagement. Absolutely. Build relationships. Two, they want us to know who we're chatting with. They don't want people just sending random connection requests out happen to random people they don't know there's no connection with it doesn't make people feel safe you know christine the word safer is really really important and then third and finally they want to keep us they want us to keep people interested and on their for longer because at the end of the day it makes us more valuable to their purposes whether you love or hate it you know if you think about it there's obviously the facebook verified program right now which is whatever it is 12 bucks a month i think it is um, but apart from that, it's completely free as a platform. And if you think of the power that Facebook has got in my life, I'm looking for anyone in this world anymore. I'm looking for tradespeople, window cleaners, gutter cleaners, house cleaners. I look on Facebook. I look in communities. I look in groups all day long. Facebook is so flipping powerful. So Facebook wants us all to behave properly, appropriately. Um, but as I've said to you already, it's critically important that we all stay ahead of the curve. And these changes that Facebook are dropping and about to drop, um, you know, I'm sure you've seen some of these changes already. We've got to be, a, be, be ahead of the curve. We are all users of the platform and we are all consumers. So what these changes are going to mean, we all want the best experience from when we use it. All we want to feel want to have that respect we want to be connecting with people and we want to have the right sort of engagement and that's good so as a user if you don't want to use facebook for business any longer you don't want to be sold to you're in control you don't have to have that if you do like someone like me then that's absolutely fine but that is my choice it puts the choice in the hands of the consumer of the user and we are all consumers and users at the end of the day so what i'd say to you is it's time to start thinking outside of the box We've got to be a little bit creative. We can't be lazy. We can't be using strategies we use for 12 months because they just won't work anymore to go forwards. You've got to start thinking differently. You've got to maybe take a step back, is the advice I give to all my coaches. Take a step back from your business. Look at the strategies you're using and always put yourself in the shoes of your ideal future clients. And how would you want to be treated yourself? What would make you respond? How would you react? And that will put you in a very strong, very safe position. So, just in case, I, I, I get the impression we're all aware of what Messenger is, but whenever I do things like this, there's always someone who's never heard of Messenger or whatever else. So, I thought I'd go and search it out and find out what it, that, the actual definition a bit about what it was. And all I'd say, I couldn't believe when I did this slide a couple of days ago that Facebook, uh, Messenger's been around since 2008. Good God, I feel old. 16 years ago, Messenger has been around now. So, and where it is now, it's so much more powerful than it was 16 years ago. It's huge. But yeah, my God, hasn't it changed? So, rule one. This is a big change. And this has happened already. You are limited to send 30 message requests per 24 hours. So, I don't put per day because your 24 hours starts from, you know, now to 4 8 is the time in the uk right now so 4 18 tomorrow i can send 30 message requests only in the next four hours this is already happening right now now the first thing the first caveat i'll say to you or second caveat i'll say to you all is so many different versions of facebook out there and you'll probably find how many of us are on here now have all got a different version of facebook right now and that's quite typical so you may have this i've got this in place now for a few months you may not have this but if you haven't got it you're very the most of it because this is coming really really quickly so when you share a brand new dm with someone for the very first time and there is no connection between you or person or that dm the dm will continue to land in the message request folder and as i say it's been that way for a number of months for me already so if i don't know the person coach roof i'm messaging you for the first time we've never had any conversation at all i'm sending you a dm it's cold it wouldn't have come for me in the first place we're all players. Um, 
with there's no connection between us we've not had any conversation we're not in we're not interacting in any way at all that dm will go into roof's message request folder and as i say it's been that way for a while now if you haven't seen it already this is how you find it um it's very very straightforward this is where you go to so on facebook you go into messenger and then click on the three dots drop down this menu message requests and this is what it looks like you've got two you've got two folders you've got people you may know and you've got spam i always love the spam i don't spend a lot of time looking at it these are the people that are going to go out of business really damn quickly these are your bs marketers if you know anyone who me and I'm calling them a BS marketer. Well, they should be doing better. Contact me and I'll help the marketer better. Um, you can see you will never get notifications. People's messages are set in your spam, and they'll be there forever more. I can't even tell you how long my spam list is. It is freaking off the chart. It is absolutely enormous. Um, and then if you click on the you may know, this is what I could see a couple of days ago. I've got these people sat there and they're there and they were never going to move until I accept and respond their message. So as simple as that. And I think these people are in my community. That's why they've appeared there. So there's a little bit of a connection there. A Facebook thing, I may know them. So you can see Meta Facebook is being really, really protective, it's protecting me as a consumer uh, and protecting me as a user so this spam are people you're not friends with also i will say to you is that some people seem to think the number of 30 connection uh, dms a day is the maximum but i can tell you now from the research i've been doing personally there's a lot of people who can see five they get five maybe eight a day maybe 10 a day and the number's much much lower than 30 and again I understand how their algorithms work around this for quite a reason, but if you can get away with 30, you're doing quite well. Um, exceed the limit, and all I'll say to you is welcome to Facebook jail for a period of time. And um, you know, I who's been quick question, who's been in Facebook jail this year? Stick your hand up. Has anyone been in Facebook jail this year? I know I have. Oh, Christine, yeah, I can see that. Ruth, you've been in it a long ass time. I know that for a fact of the conversation. We've been, I've been in and out of Facebook jail for a lot this year. If if you're well done, you're amazing. Basically, what it means is you'll lose some sort of functionality by using Facebook, and it could be for a short period of time. So typically the things you'll see is you can't add new friends. They may stay stop you from commenting in groups and community. The most important one is it'll stop you from sending DMs. Because I say, no, you're doing something wrong. We want to protect our users. And usually jail starts about 24 hours. And then you might clear, clear your slate and then you use it wrong again. And then it may get longer. You might get 40 hours. You might get 72 hours. It might get longer and longer. Um, the 30 DM limit does not include messages to people you're already friends with, people you already got a connection with. You can message them as many times as you want. You can go back and forth with your messages. That's absolutely fine. So just to, be, you know, to clarify, the 30 limit is just the people there's no connection with there at all and you're not friends with them at the moment so that's huge so number two rule change number two and i have touched on this already and to me this is the biggest rule change the rule change to date and it's the one you really need to be very very mindful of number two and that is accept to continue so Denise, you've been in prison as well. Okay, Facebook jail. Okay, cool. So accept to continue. So as I said, when that message sits in your DM request or your DM spam, it's never going to move until I accept to continue. So until I accept to continue, the person can never send me another DM and I'll never see it. They can send me 10 DMs a minute for the rest of their life and I'm never going to see any of them. They never get that first one. And if I refuse it, They'll never come through to me again. So you see how the power switch happen, and the consumers have got all the control. And to accept it, they have to respond. They have to reply and send you a message back. Otherwise, you are never going to get to DM them again, ever. They are in control. We are in control as consumers. Just think about it. If... Uh, absolutely absolutely denise uh, you're on the spot this is where this could be a challenge to people 
the people that are not awake of the changes are going to be absolutely dead in the water, which is great news. Now you know about it, you can do something about it. You have got to be in control. So if your first message hasn't made them respond, you're never going to see another, you're never going to be able to DM that person ever again. Also, and this is really, really important, the first DM and not in a link, so no URLs or an image. And again, that comes down to security. So the first message you share, you share, put the teeth in, cannot include a link and cannot have an image in that. And that's down to security. So many weirdos and nutters out there, and whatever else, spammers, no links, no images until they accept that conversation. So this could also be a potential sticking point if you're running a Facebook group or a community as I like to call them. So we've talked about, we've, we've mentioned communities already very, very briefly. They're an amazing strategy for your lead generation. If you're not running a community, please DM me later and we need to have a conversation because I will convert you all day long because communities are absolutely are. Um, so we're talking about from like the first DM you share to someone, if that person is already in your community, your group, then there's going to be a slight relationship there. I would still recommend not doing it, and I'd recommend having them to accept your first uh, your first message before you share them anything. So once they're in your community, then there is going to be a bit of relationship there. But I would always put be on the uh, side of caution here and just be careful about doing it. And I wouldn't do the first message. I really wouldn't. Um. So the challenge I can see is if you've got a really good Facebook community, so hopefully you're in mind. So online uh, online coaches, predictable client is my community. I'm at about 3,450. If you are getting more than 30 people a day who you don't know joining your community, you are never going to see them all. This is what you've got to think about. So you're going to have to think differently. It's what I mean, outside the box. And what? how can you be different here? So I'll give you some tips. Your options are you may need to hire a VA, a virtual assistant. You may want to hire a community manager. I can't wait for the day when my community is that big. I have a community manager who just looks after the communities for me full time. It'd be amazing. And that community manager specifically just looks at responding and DMing these people as well. And that way we can cover more and more. Or the clever lower cost, I hate the word cheap, the, the clever, lower cost way of getting around this problem is having such a sexy lead magnet that they only get from you if they DM you for it when they join your community. So start thinking about what you can give away. And this is your leads are going to be so much better quality than ever before. Because the people reaching out to you, dropping you that DM as a first point of call, are going to be so invested in learning more about what you're sticking their hand way up high loud and proud to say they want to know more about what you're doing this is where i get excited the leads are going to get better and better and better one action i advise i recommend, advise you all take on this session is if you've got a facebook community a facebook group is go back into your community and update your welcome message and add something like dm me to let me know you're here and receive our amazing guide or gift or book or free training and that way when people join your community they start dming you then it's going to make your life so much easier to have that conversation once that first dm's come if they dm you you're going to get a course and then you you're open. you can have that conversation you can move freely like in, in, in messenger so you're going to have to educate your community you're gonna you're gonna edu have to educate everyone who you're not currently connected with because people don't know this is happening if they don't send you that first DM request and their first DM, then they're never gonna get your messages. So you need to, we all need to be converting these people and educating them, otherwise we're gonna be stuck. And something, you know, keep it really, really simple, stupid. Coach Roof knows I, I use this phrase all the time. Life's complicated, so don't make things any more complicated. Use something simple like respond to this. Let me know you've got it. Or, you know, explain to people why you're reaching out and tell them, you know, the trigger of a DM. Send me a DM and I'll send you this. Tell people what you want them to do, you know, in a Facebook post, in your community, in the welcome message, whatever. Or ask a question. Ask that initial question on your very first DM. Ask them a question to encourage a response. Make them want to respond. 
to you because as I say, once they've responded to you, that door is kicked wide open. Everything is now to get the other person to respond to you or to DM you first, as simple as that. So I've talked about it. I hope you all understand what I mean by it's basically where you're collecting their information and giving them to return, or you maybe get them to send you a DM. Is anyone using lead magnets right now? If you're using the lead magnet, add a four to the chat. Who's using lead magnets right now? I do love a good lead magnet, and I have got a training session coming out in about a month's time about lead magnets and how you can take your lead magnets to another level. Viv, love it. Love what you do. Lead magnets are amazing, and it's just thinking about how you deploy your lead magnets roof. Loving it. And it'll make it work. And it, So what is a lead magnet? Okay, great question. Lead magnets, when I'm giving you something. So... This training is a lead magnet. You've now entered my world. You are now on my radar. I've got your email address. I'll be stalking outside your house, just joking. This is the lead magnet. It could be a PDF, it could be a guide, it could be an ebook. I love ebooks. I use ebooks all the time to say, you want this ebook to grow your coaching business? Um, give me your email address, give me a DM, and I'll send you this ebook back by return. It's something as simple as that. So I'm giving you great value in return for you doing something, taking that step, either giving me your email address, it could be your cell number, or it could be that you are just sending me a DM. So open that field of conversation for the future. That's what I mean. But Denise, in about a month's time, I'll be doing a specific training just on uh, lead magnets. So you're using lead magnets on your website, but not on Facebook. Oh my gosh, you're missing a trick there, Denise. We need to talk. You need to be using lead magnets on Facebook as well. Um, so, yeah, it's all about getting your eyes on so that lead magnet, you know, DM me freebie or something like that to get access to this, this lead magnet right now. And that opens up that door so I can have the communications in the future. And it is so, so powerful. So final rule we're going to hit today. This is the final of the changes of where we see right now. It's only friends. Only friends, please. I didn't say only fans. Definitely that's a completely different training that I don't do. Uh, only friends, it's not to be confused with only fans. So what I mean by only friends is blind requests are going to be no more. You can't just blind request people because you're going to get the message, and I'm sure you've seen it, I've seen it so many times this, this year, there's no relationship between the two of you, you can't. It says something like, only send friend connect to people you know, and it stops you. So if there's no connection there at all, Facebook is going to stop you from doing it. So you need to have some sort of relationship. You could be in a shared community. You know, it could be in your community or group, or you might be in another community together. Or it could be people who have got your phone number. If they've got your cell number, your mobile phone number, then there's a connection there. The phone request is going to go through to them. That's how powerful Facebook it is. But if there's no connection there, it's making a very instant decision to say no. A quick strategy. This is what I've learned this year, and this is what we use all the time. In your communities, whether it's yours or another community you're in, if you see someone you want to connect with, comment on their post. Or if it's someone commenting to another post on there, comment to their comment on the post. And straight away, you've got that connection. That relationship is there. And then you can send them a friend request. So I got it for a Cold work I try to connect with. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, it's making it much more tricky. So, yeah, when you're in communities and you see a post and you want to connect with that person who's made the post, is send them a comment on their post. Or if it's someone commenting to another post that you want to connect with, comment their comment because everyone's going to love you because the original the original person who posted it's going to it's going to get more engagement and then the person that you're engaging with will suddenly see you as well and then you can send them a friend request. Now, caveat again, third or fourth caveat I think from today. It's always good practice. I think I'll pat my mom. It's always good practice. That when you send a friend request, is also drop them a DM and explain the reasons why I'm sending you a friend request. I'm sending you a friend request. You look like a coach, online coach. We've got a lot in common. I think we can help and collaborate, and share, whatever. Um, and it, absolutely. And I would, I'm sure that I've met you online in the online space. So if we're not friends, or if we are friends, then you would have this from me as well. So you would have experienced this from me. Go back to our chats and messenger, and you would have seen me do that. So. 
The, the second strategy I'm giving you is whenever you send out a phone request, it's always send them a DM. It's just human nature. Uh, like LinkedIn, Denise, absolutely. The changes that Meta are making are they're making it much more LinkedInified, which is, yeah, more professional. It's that type of thing. So when you send a phone request, drop a quick DM and explain to them why I'm sending them uh, that DM. Because if you get as many firm requests on a daily basis as me, I want to the BS and get right to the people who are interested in the kind of work that I'm doing. And then, what I'm going to give you right now is always periodically, once a month, definitely once a quarter, please go into your settings in Meta, in Facebook and Messenger, and check your settings. Because Meta's always making changes. And they're always here to be trying to protect us more often. And you'll quite often find that suddenly they've changed who your content can be visible to or they've changed who can DM you. Obviously, you need to always make sure that your DM settings are set so that anyone can possibly DM you. You're still going to have the you know, people you may know um, anyway, but just make sure your settings are always open. I highly recommend anyone who works with me, you go and check your settings once a month definitely once a quarter and to make sure they've not turned anything off or restricted you in any way as you can and then quite a biggie here quite a biggie is never ever ever let someone else look into facebook using your credentials and i've worked with coaches over the years who've told me to do this and honestly it's the most stupid thing to ever do and you will lose your account your facebook account entirely I have seen more coaches with massive, successful coaches with massive followings losing their account this year than ever before. You never, ever want to be in that position. So never, ever share your credentials with anyone login as you because people, a lot of coaches, and I've never done this, would instruct coach, uh, their, their clients to get a VA and get their VA to log in as them and use Facebook as if it's them. And I've done it in the past. And it's honestly, it's really stupid mistake so if you're using a va a virtual assistant absolutely amazing if it works for you then it's great make sure they are part of your team and they're logging on as part of your team a team member and not as you because you will just screw up your account and i can't tell how serious it is i use vpns so virtual private network i can be anywhere in the world and it can always look like i'm at home and then I've had VAs working for me in the States, in the Philippines, in Australia. They're using the VPN as well. But if what, anytime they forget to turn that VPN on and I'm logged on and I'm working from the UK and then maybe I hit my phone and I'm logging on from somewhere else, Facebook's going to freak out. And quite rightly so, for your own protection, I'm going to lock you down. And the chances are you're going to lose your account. And once your account's gone, you ain't going to get it back and there's no one to talk to. So honestly, I can't tell you. That gives me nightmares, makes me shiver, cold shivers down my spine. Never, ever, ever let anyone log in as you on Facebook. And everyone's telling to do that, tell them to speak to me because they're absolutely wrong. It is crazy. So that's the information I was going to cover. I am six minutes over. My bad. I'm sorry. Before I do any questions, I have got another event happening two weeks today at exactly the same time. And the next event is this, which is this. So I will drop the link in here. You guys are the first to know it, and I've not dropped the link, and I've clicked on it instead. So I'm just sorting my life out. I'll pop the link here, and that is how you book on. It's free. It'll be about 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes, based on how I'm talking today. Um, this is the first part. You understand the meta rule changes. Now you need this as the, as the follow-on part, and I'll help you get out there. And that's what it's all about. This is what I'm here for, helping and serving all day long so finally do we have any questions guys we've got any questions stick your hand up unmute yourself raise your hand jump about so i can see you let me make sure i can see all your faces put your camera on if you haven't got it um and ask away who's got a question or have i done such a good job no one's got any questions and my life is complete and i'm going to sit in the garden and drink tea wow it's actually quite nice in the uk today so i'm not complaining Quite nice, the weather, finally. Um, if anyone wants any assistance or if anyone has got any questions, thank you, Christine. I will love your energies and your support. Um, if you want, I'm more than happy 
offer any of you a free strategy session. We can review what you're doing on Facebook, how you're using lead magnets, uh, your pitch, your DM strategy. There's a link there in the chat. By all means, book on and we'll have half an hour and I'll give you as much of my knowledge as I possibly can. Um, as you can probably tell, this is the sweet spot for me and all this type of geeky, nerdy type social media stuff literally pumps the blood around my veins and I get very excited by all this and I can talk about it all day long. So yeah, I appreciate you all. Thank you for joining me today. Um, if you've got any questions, you know where I am. If we're not connected on Facebook, I've given you the link. Please connect with me. I look forward to seeing you in strategy sessions. And also, I'll give you the link for the event in two weeks' time. I hope you found that useful. Have a great rest of the day. And I look forward to seeing you all in the very near future. Thank you all. See you soon.